count Sarah Ty of Merriman among the record breaking number of Hamilton County residents who voted early. Yeah, I definitely wanted to mail it in, but the postage thing was a little intimidating and confusing. Ty typically votes on election day, but concerns about COVID-19 and even longer lines Tuesday, combined with encouraging social media posts, made voting early a logical choice. I didn't know where this box was. People who have voted have been sharing, you know, where to park and pictures and information like that. Like Ty, George Weatherby of Evanston also normally votes on election day. This go round, he marveled at voters' enthusiasm as he dropped his grandson's ballot off in the county's drive through lane. It was very convenient. I love seeing the crowds because this is an important election year. Through Thursday night, Hamilton County's early vote totals, including absentee ballots that have already been returned, are dramatically higher than the number of votes cast through the same time frame four years ago. Voters who identify as Democrats are significantly outpacing Republicans, but don't discount non-affiliated or independent voters. They've cast more ballots than either party so far. I asked the county's top election official if she looks at all the early ballots as a way to predict possible winners on election night. No, not really. Not really. Those are not predictions um, that, that I like to make as an elections official. We, you know, our job is to count the vote and make sure that it's counted accurately um, and securely. Yeah, accurately and securely. That is the mission here at the Board of Elections. I can tell you that early in-person voting does continue here tonight at the board's office in Norwood until 7 o'clock. It's important to know the weekend hours. Saturday hours are 8 to 4. Sunday, it's 1 to 5. And then on Monday, the last day to vote early, hours are 8 until 2 in the afternoon. Reporting live tonight, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.